In this video today, I'm going to show you how to Boolean difference an object in five easy steps. When you first open ZBrush, you want to check your subtool. Right now, there's only one um, polysphere. And you want to go to Append and insert whichever subtool that you want to Boolean difference. In this case, right now there is a cube and there is a sphere. And right now they are overlaying on top of each other and I'm going to move it just so you can see that they are actually um, both existing at the same time. You can turn each one off by using this icon. And right now I'm going to show you how we can Boolean really quickly instead of going through all the steps. So first, you want to select which one you want to boolean. Let's say you want to keep the cube and you want to take the sphere away. You would want to click the second icon here, which is the difference, and you want to drag it below of the one that you want to keep. And the second step is you want to make sure that this is your primary selection. And you can always do a preview by using the live boolean. In this case, you can see that this will be what happened when you actually booleaned it. And right now it is just a preview. For you to actually boolean this, um, actually you can still uh, adjust as you go. You can click this and adjust however you want. It will still show you the preview. So carry on, we will show you how to actually boolean difference this and make it a solid object. So you would go down here and go to boolean and make boolean mesh. You will have to have live boolean on in this orange highlighted um, tool. If this is not on, you cannot click make boolean mesh. So you have to put this on before you can actually make a mesh. So I've clicked the mesh and it seems like nothing happened. But really you have to go back into a pen and click the latest new poly surface that you just created using the make boolean mesh. So when you click that one, you can see in your subtool there's now three different tools. And the first two was the two that you used to create the third object here. And right now you would want to turn it off for the first two and then you can check the final product that you actually created using the boolean difference. And you can check it by moving it around and seeing if it follow your arrow, which in this case it does and it is, and it is a um, successful boolean poly service. A lot of the time once you have all these tools as you build, I usually prefer to making a name so I can know which one is which and I would use this one as boolean1 and then here you can see clearly which one is the actual one that you're on. 